in beautiful Los Angeles, California. It's the Late Late Show with Craig Kilborn. Tonight, where is he now? He's right here, Meat Loaf. My uh, first guest has the tastiest name in rock and roll if you don't count Peaches and Herb. <laughs> His debut album, Bad Out of the Hell, is one of the top five selling albums of all time. His new film, Fight Club, opens on October 15th. His name is Meatloaf, and this is his story. Meatloaf is one of the biggest stars in music. He's known all over the world. He's one of the most influential in the business. But Meat's route to the big time was not an easy one. Spike Lee remembers. I remember the heat. The whole hysteria. Loaf. Grew up. Somewhere like Texas. By the mid 1980s, Meat Loaf was desperately unhappy beneath the glossy veneer of success. But beneath the glossy veneer of success, Loaf was desperately unhappy. I completely lost my way and I had no idea how to find it. Meat had hit bottom. It took the intervention of Spike Lee to finally make him wake up and smell the coffee. Loaf has been back on track for quite some time and has sold 50 million albums. Meat credits his friends and family for supporting him, getting Loaf back on focus. I'm back now and I'm here to stay and I'm not going anywhere. This is Meat Loaf! run being out of the dugout yeah, you know that's you that feeling now and, uh, now i know how bernie williams felt last night you are a baseball fan aren't you i am yankees red sox bernie and... williams yeah. yeah i think i think the, i think the country's rooting for the mets alfonso yeah. no maybe not uh, well, well, i guess not we got I a boo not. out of that who's your who's your team yankees 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 okay. yankees okay uh, I, it's been, Yankees been my team since 58, so. Oh, is that right? Yeah. What happened about 87 and 91? What about the Minnesota Twins and Kirby Puckett? That was exciting. It was exciting. They won the World Series. I, I, I met Kirby. He was, he was very nice. Yeah. He talked to me about hitting. Yeah, he's a very stocky man. He was. They're he, not into this at all. They're, but that's okay. <laughs> you know what? I don't really care whether they're wow. into it or not. <laughs> but they were cheering for... Now, I know I that, and they cheered me, and, and they will learn to love baseball if they're not into it. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Fight Club. It's with, it, you're in it, so is Ed Norton and uh, Brad Pitt. And Helena Bonham Carter. Yeah, that's an expensive cast. Is that why they can't call it The Fight Club? Because I find myself saying The Fight Club, and it's Fight Club. It's Fight Club. Actually, actually the reason is is because Brad and I were in it together, mm -hmm. and that's why it was so expensive. And, 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 he, and there was a problem... Uh, initially, he he couldn't quite handle another sex god on the set. Mm -hmm. yeah. You do it. You do intimidate people. You certainly do. And uh, and so once you know, once he came to the realization that he had to share that title, he was okay. Did you, we got along great. Did you just call yourself a sex god? I believe I, I believe I did, yes. That's so great. I thank you, dude. Yeah, so <laughs> you are an actor. I am a sick. Um, <laughs> is it a violent movie? It's about movie? believing it, right. you know. Uh, here's the thing. Is, I hear two things. Is it a violent movie or is it a date movie? It's a violent date movie. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> should, I bring a, should I bring a woman to the thing? Oh, I or? think you should, yeah. Okay. Just be prepared for her to hit you at any moment okay. during the movie. Uh, I think you brought a clip of uh, Fight Club. I did. Does it need a setup or not? Can uh, I just show it? I, I have no idea. I just know that I'm in it. Sex God Meatloaf right here in Fight Club. How are you, Bob? Better than I've ever been in my whole life. Really? You still remaining men together? No, no. I got something so much better now. Really? What is it? Well, the first rule is I'm not supposed to talk about it. 
And the second rule is, I'm not supposed to talk about it. And the third rule Bob, is, Bob, I'm a member. Fight Club, they can't talk about it. That's the thing. They can't, they won't let you talk about it. No, that's, 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 that's actually rule one through seven. You can't talk about that's Fight Club. That's rule one through seven. Right. And eight is, you, you're not supposed to talk about it. Boy. <laughs> And that's two hours of that. So that's, that's just that's, uh, yeah. That's all that really happens in that movie is everybody walks around going, You remember? I can't talk about can't it. Can't talk about it. <laughs> I can't talk about it. That's cool. No, it's an incre I gotta tell you, it's an incredible movie. I, I like to refer to that movie as kind of the Wizard of Oz for the next millennium. Is it that good? It is that good. Wow. And are you like the scarecrow or who are I'm you? I'm like the lion. The lion. I'm okay. the lion. Uh, I have to ask you something musically because I'm Okay, I'm ready. I, here's a new C D you have. Just it's called Storyteller. <laughs> That's right, right. yeah. Here's one more. These are uh, old songs. Uh, that, well, yeah, most these of them are old. There's one new one on there, okay. and then there's one that's not old to me, but was right. old to Warren Zevon. Okay. But to me, yeah. it was brand new. Uh, you covered it? Or, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing, and I could be wrong. I'm just telling you. Bat Out of Hell yeah. went crazy, sold. It's in the top five all, all time. Yeah, about 34 million. Then you like did that. Bat Out of Hell two years later, 1994, I think yeah. it was. Okay, those both of those did extremely well, but the other ones did not. I'm saying, okay. Well, it depends, it's all right. It depends on how you look as well. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Bat Out of Hell three. Just name it Bat Out of Hell three, <laughs> and you're golden. Well, you know what? If we do that, that's exactly what it'll, it's going to be called Bat Out of Hell three, the final at bat. <laughs> <laughs> what is the holdup? Well, the holdup is, is the guy that I work with mm -hmm. hates me. <laughs> the guy that you work with, what does he do? What does he do? He, he, he's the writer and, you know, he, he we writes produce, the songs? Yeah, we produce and, and I sing them and, you know, we work on them together. Okay, he writes the, the music and the lyrics? Well, sort of, yeah. Okay, and, I mean, and you sing? Yeah, I sing. And what is, what's the, is there a feud? No, no, I, I, I'm never mad at him. What's his name? Jim Steinman. Jim Steinman. Yeah, I, I, I'm never mad at him. He's mad at me. He, he once told me he hated me. So right now he's refusing to write any new songs. Well, no, he hasn't refused. He just doesn't talk to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, is there some way we... What does he want? Why is he mad at you? Because he, he said that... that uh, if he was here on the show, it would be really good. Mm -hmm. But um, he said that uh, he, he, uh, he doesn't get the recognition that I do. Oh, he wants to be famous. Yeah. Is, Which, as I said, he could be famous. It was... Does he... It's not... <laughs> it's not a problem with me. Go right ahead. <laughs> Jim, if you're watching, be famous. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Be that's famous. what I've been telling you. Where's the camera? Jim, right. be famous already. And then, and then call up Meatloaf. Yeah. Uh, what, what does he want to do? He wants... He wants... He, j he wants... He wants... He wants everybody to know that he was Dr. Frankenstein and I was the monster. Oh, he thinks he's the... He's manipulating and creating you? Is that what he's... Well... Yeah, but tell me this, though. Okay. Jim, you don't, he doesn't want to be Meatloaf, does he? Because there's only one Meatloaf. <laughs> Jim, is that, what is he? I'm frustrated. Uh, it's, I'm, uh, you, you know what? Sometimes I get frustrated, too. Just write the song, Jim. The that, America just write, wants... Yeah, just write the song. We'll get together what. like always. Come in the door. You know I love you. Let's go, Jimmy. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, Jimmy. Hey, stay with us. Five questions and we come back with the loaf. All right? All right. Besides Fight Club, there's also a movie you want me to mention, Crazy in Alabama. Crazy in Alabama, Where directed you, by Antonio Banderas. You're working hard. Here we go. Five questions. <laughs> Five questions, a very special theme for Mr. Meatloaf. It's a theme about meat and meat Wait, life. Wait, I'm a vegetarian. Really? Yeah. Well, your Is name, that a problem? This is meat and okay. meat byproducts. Oh, the meat okay. byproducts. I'm stumped already. Geography. In Japan, okay. farmers massage their meat to make what expensive kind of steak? You can't get any help from the audience? <laughs> well, I was waiting for them to yell it at Colby Beef. That is correct. Thank you. Look at you. This character on The White Shadow, remember that old uh, basketball show, oh, The White yeah, Shadow? Yeah, The White Shadow. Kevin Hooks, I yeah. did a film when yep. he directed. There you go. White Shadow is also the name of an Italian lunch meat. This character on White Shadow, also the name of an Italian lunch meat. And we'll give you a little time to think about that. <laughs> Who, wait a minute, 
wait, wait. There was an Italian lunch meat on there? No, there was... no, no, no. It's a character's name, so it might be you know, maybe bologna or something like that, but it's an Italian uh, lunch so, meat. So it's not bologna because you just said that. You're correct. Unless you're trying to confuse me no. and make me think it's bologna. No. <laughs> By the way, time is up. Salami. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Loaf, what is a cheaper cut of meat, filet mignon, London broil, sirloin, or butt steak? <laughs> what is the cheapest cut of well, meat? Well, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking butt steak. Correct? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. This okay. one, this is a tough one. Okay. If you were to combine... Wait a this, second, how long do I have for the tough this one? Ones? You have 10, 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. But you just asked me a question, you have five seconds. Okay. Now. <laughs> if you were to combine this shade of green with uh, someone who loiters or lies around, you might get what? So a shade Excuse of... Excuse me? A shade of green with someone... Shades who, of green? A shade of green. This is a compound... Is there shades of green? Yes. Yeah, like lime green. Oh, lime green. Uh, Khaki. Khaki, right? Khaki. And then with, Lime. remember, it's meat byproducts, okay? This is a fun one. You're never going to get it. I might as well just say what it is. Olive. Uh, olive. Yes. With someone who uh, loiters or lies around. Olive. Uh, uh, uh. Someone. Loaf! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That was a tough one. Oh, man. You know what? How do you feel right now? <laughs> is this the greatest moment? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. That's the joy of five questions. There's no better uh, feeling. I know, it's unbelievable. Okay. That was Finally, good. this okay. is for five out of five. Okay, go. You are an actor. I don't know if I can handle five. Okay, go ahead. You're in two movies. You're an actor. Show us Ham. Ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> His name is Meatloaf. Uh, that was thick sliced ham right there. Uh, it sure was. <laughs> that was very good. Uh, thanks for being here. Big hand for Mr. Meatloaf. Oh, right back. Back.